and I, I'm not belittling what Melania Senior said, that money has been lost, but there's a lot of misinformation out there that for you to prove or to succeed in an impeachment process or for an impeachment charge to be upheld, you need to show that money has been lost or there is misappropriation. And I'll refer you to Article 1, it's one of the Constitution, and it's replica in Section 33 of the County Government Act. The, county gov the, the Constitution talks about gross violation of the Constitution, gross misconduct, or abuse of office. That provision, Honorable Speaker, is to, be, is to be read holistically, is to be read together with Article 75 of the Constitution, which talks about conduct of state officers. And I'll read it, I'll read that provision, Honorable Speaker, that a state officer shall behave whether in public official life or in private life in a manner that does, that does not demean the office that state officer holds. That is the provision. So it is not just a matter of misappropriation or loss of, loss of money. Your conduct as a state officer, whether in public, official life, or private life, would equally meet the threshold for impeachment. And I will not state names, but we have seen in this very republic gross misconduct by state officers elsewhere. And they have, held, they have been held to account, notwithstanding that there was no loss of money. Honorable Speaker, we will show you specific acts by the governor in our own name. And therefore the defense of it wasn't me does not avail itself. Of course attempts have been made by the governor to deflect these specific acts on a part, including through forgery of documents. And those documents have been filed and they are before you, Honorable Senators. And those documents, which the County Assembly contains, are outright forgeries. Are meant to, are meant to drink this Honorable House and to deflect the attention of this House from the real issues. And the real issues, for example, that forgery relates to a specific act by the Governor in revoking the appointment of the CEO of the Middle County Public Service Board. But letters have been forged to cover up and to drink this honorable house, to divert attention from that specific act in our own name, by our own signature, and under our own hand. We are going to demonstrate, honorable speaker, that the governor has continued, has persisted in a path of impunity through the county secretary and the chief of staff. And this has been raised in previous, in previous impeachment proceedings. The governor said it wasn't me. But luckily, Honorable Speaker, the law envisages such a situation as the one before you, where a state officer, a public officer, says it wasn't me, it was so and so. Section 24 of the Public Officer Act and Section 35 of the Leadership and Integrity Act is about the conduct of a state officer acting through others. And those provisions are expressed that that public officer is still liable for the acts that are done through others. So even if that act was done by someone else, the law envisages that acting through others is not a defense. 